general form of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 okay so how do you find the roots for this okay there are the many methods you will use the formula method right that is what is that minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2e okay first of all we will solve the quadratic equation now without any formula then we will see how this formula arises. okay let us write a quadratic equation here that is 2x square minus 6x plus 3 equal to 0 okay so we will solve this without any formula method okay so we will see now divide this equation okay with 2 2 is the coefficient of x square okay just divide with coefficient of x square okay so what will become so I am just writing here 2x square by 2 minus 6x by 2 plus 3 by 2 equal to 0 right so simplify it so it will become like x square minus 2 3's are it will get cancelled it will become like minus 3x okay plus 3 by 2 okay equal to 0 say s square minus 2 into x this is the a okay b i am writing okay such a way that it won't change anything equation right here so what is the b i will write here let me write b okay so we will write just 3 by 2 i think it's it's not difficult to write okay so if you just see here 2 2 get cancelled it will become like minus 3 x it does not change anything but i'm just putting the 2 and first term a and into by just writing the b term okay just so we're putting 3 by 2 here okay so that it will become minus 3 x so 2 2 get cancelled and it will become minus 3 x okay plus now b square term we need to write right so i'll write the b square term here okay so once if we added anything we need to subtract again right 3 by 2 all square so that it won't change anything so these 3 by 2 all square 3 by 2 square get cancelled and this 2 2 get cancelled and it will become like 3 x okay plus there's a 3 by 2 is there already in our equation right so it's equal to 0 now this can be written like you now x minus b whole square right so x minus 3 by 2 whole square okay we'll send other terms to other side okay so these are the two are the extra terms right we'll send to the other side then how it becomes become like 3 by 2 whole square minus 3 by 2 right so the left side one is x minus 3 by 2 whole square equal to 9 by 4 minus 3 by 2 okay take LCM 4 to become like a 9 minus 6 equal to 3 by 4 right if you take x minus 3 by 2 so that's this will go to that side so it become like plus or minus square root of 3 by 4 right so square root of 3 by 4 is root 3 by 2 plus or minus 3 by 2 okay if you send it to other side, this 3 by 2 plus or minus root 3 by 2, okay. So, it come like 3 plus or minus root 3 divided by 2, okay. So, two roots are there. One is 3 plus root 3 by 2, another one is 3 minus root 3 by 2, okay. We just got in 3 roots for this quadratic equation without any formula, okay. This is how that formula also is derived, okay. You need to know the things before doing something, okay. First know the things then you use the formula okay now let's take general form of the quadratic equation so ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero okay what is the first step okay we divide with the equation with a right okay so it will become like ax square divided by a plus bx divided by a plus c by a equal to zero okay we'll simplify this further okay then it will become like x square plus b by a x okay send this c by 2 other side and here we are sending other side okay we'll write complete square form here okay let's see how we'll write it it's simple it's a square plus 2 into a a is this right and b term is i'm writing okay here i'm writing b term as b by 2a okay so that 2 2 get cancelled it will become like b by a x right so okay, b by 2a written right so we are we are writing here b by 2a whole square okay so that will become a plus b whole square okay similarly if we add this side b by 2 a square we need to add other side also b by 2 a whole square okay so here also b by 2 a whole square minus 
c by a okay this will become like x plus v by 2a whole square okay if it if you take here this will become like b square by 4a square minus c by a okay let's take the lcm here for a square okay so it became like a b square minus 1a is gone so it become 4ac right so we know that x plus b by 2a equal to so square root of this right square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 4a square okay so square root means always plus or minus right so now x is equal to we're sending other side b by 2a plus or minus so here 4a square square root is 2a right so that is uh, 2a top side it is b square minus 4ac right so that 2a is that common here divided by 2a minus b plus or minus square root b square minus 4ac okay okay so this is the formula we used for finding the rules okay it's a very simple steps okay we need to be familiarized with the steps okay Th that will comes in naturally okay while solving the problem even in those rules while writing yourself we come to them okay we're just making these squares we need to make complete square on side then we'll, we'll derive this expression right so we need to know the things before solving the problems